since I did talk about the top ten best movies of 2012 from January to June, now let's talk about the worst movies of 2012 from January to June. Worst movies, ten worst, ten I had to pull out of this garbage can. <laughs> and yeah, we got a lot of garbage here. Number ten. Number ten is This Means War. Now, I know this is a Tom Hardy film, and I really like Tom Hardy a lot, but I hated this movie. This movie was so dumb. This is the first time we have Chris Pine and Tom Hardy in the movie together. Captain Kirk and the guy that plays Bane in Dark Knight Rises. This would have been a perfect opportunity to do a great action film. No, let's do a romantic comedy plot that has been done in um, sitcoms for Pete's sake. So there have been sitcom episodes made where the two best friends are fighting over the same girl. And in this case, it's spot. It's, it's two CIA agents, and they're misusing their authority to get to know get to know the woman. And their superior, played by Angela Bassett, doesn't uh, really hold them accountable because she doesn't really know what's going on. Reese Witherspoon, she just she plays a ter terrible leading lady in this movie. Oh my. Mostly used for sex appeal, but typical Nick G, the director. Oh, God. I hate this guy. <laughs> this, this movie was terrible. Oh, man. You know, badly used these two great actors, and it just was a terrible movie. Number nine, Crabby Noise. Now, I know I gave this movie a 5 out of 10 the first time I did the review, but you know, every, sometimes when I think about it, I, I feel like this deserves lower. If I'm changing the range of 4 out of 10 and I put it in my worst list, I, I just really didn't like this movie. I said I didn't like the background characters a lot and uh, the chemistry between uh, Dolly Parton and Queen Latifah was terrible. It just was a te just wasn't that good of a movie. Number 8. Number 8, uh, seeing Star Wars Phantom Menace again, this time in 3D. <laughs> oh, man. Did we really have, was this really necessary? <laughs> Daniel Lucas for trying to get more money off of this piece of crap. Should have left him in the garbage can. Number seven. Number seven is Captain Hydro's crappy-ass movie, One for the Money. Oh, man, that was terrible. Oh. I mean, seriously, that was such an awful film. Hated that movie. It's not funny at all, and I didn't really like Catherine Eigel that movie, and not, I don't like Catherine Eigel that much. Anyway, I used to like her when she was in Roswell, but now I don't like her anymore.